if you're new around here today I have a collective haul for you some of my favorite stores and um, I can't wait to show it to you guys if you haven't already definitely hit that subscribe button and as always if you've enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up that helps me figure out what kind of content you're enjoying seeing on my channel so without further ado let's get into the haul Okay, so first we're going to start off with, I think it's Shoe Show. I always get confused with Shoe Show and Shoe Department. Like, just have one store. Um, but I have been looking for me some black um, sandals. I didn't want flip-flops because I do have um, the rainbow flip-flops with little rhinestones on them. And I've gone, I think, two or three summers without having any black ones. And I found these by Blowfish Malibu. I wear eight and a half. If you're interested in knowing uh, I got these super cute little babies um, they're pretty comfy uh, these were on sale they're normally 30 I got them for 20 so that's really good I didn't want to go over 20 bucks but I got these for myself next I got my husband something because I can't not buy myself something and not get him something I literally picked his up before I even even pick anything up for me i never get myself anything um and i got him some more crocs and not the um the rubber kind you're going to see what i'm talking about um he ruined his last pair that he had he dropped candle wax on them and uh, i got him these uh these are really comfy he said they have like a a memory foamy kind of thing the tag says they were uh like they rank the comfort and this one is a triple crocs comfort three so i think the higher the number the more comfortable they are but um he really likes them they're more on the dressier side so i like them and they were on sale for they're normally 29.98 i think i got them for 19 or something like that i don't remember next door is going to be dollar tree you guys know i love me some dollar tree i mean who doesn't love dollar tree i mean everything's a dollar you kind of can't help yourself so to get started, I will say this to get started, um, I've already taken out and used <laughs> one of the things and it is the, um, I guess you want to call it, they're like the flexi cutting boards. Like you can sort of see it through them. I don't want to say they're silicone. I really don't know what they're made out of, but I went ahead and grabbed two more of those. I bought two previously, but they were the colored ones. These are the clear uh, and I really like them. You get two for a dollar and they're really sturdy. So I got some of those. I picked up a Brillo Basics dish brush. I needed one of these for the kitchen to just help us sister out with those nasty dishes. Next, I grabbed some of the Progresso, but I say Progressive, not, not insurance, it's, it's breadcrumbs. Um, breadcrumbs, the Italian style, because they do have a little bit of seasoning on them. This is good for meatloaf or if you're trying to braid anything and cook it, like chicken, that's really good. And I always buy the Handy Flame. Yes, this is like three cents cheaper at Walmart, but I try my best not to go to Walmart if I can help it. It's one of my least favorite places to go. Next, I got me this floral shower cap. I always need a shower cap, especially when my hair is in the dry, natural, you know, like the actual straighten stage. And um, water will ruin straight hair. <laughs> if you have naturally curly hair, any humidity, anything will ruin it. It will start curling back up and I always forget to get a shower cap so I picked this one up. So I got one of these cuties and it is a kitchen equivalent magnet. I love it because it's in you know my kitchen theme which is that teal and red and it's really rustic. You know we're in the south and we're just as rustic as it can get. And I always am looking up like an equivalent for like how many tablespoons is in a, a cup of something or, you know, so this is going to make it super easy. Just going to stick it on my dishwasher because that's the only thing it's going to stick to in my kitchen. They started taking out their fall decorations. Um, so right now, all we did see were the pumpkins. I got this, I guess it's like a brass finish. I'm super horrible when it comes to um, metallic colors. I don't want to say it's copper because I know copper is more orange. I know this is gold. <laughs> I'm going to say it's bronze. I got three. I'm trying to get the, the last one. And the third one is like shades of burnt orange and red with some flakes of gold. So I'm just going to add these in with the rest of my pumpkin collection. Their pumpkins are always super cute and they go really fast. So if you want some of these cuties, then you better go to your Dollar Tree like immediately. Next up, 
I picked up one of these scarf hangers. I thought this was really cool. My mom was like, no, don't get that. Just put on some shower hooks onto your regular plastic hanger. I was like, mama, this is like made specifically for it, and it's a lot sturdier than those plastic ones. I used to put scarves just on regular, you know, just the plastic hangers, and it would start to bend. So I have scarves in a drawer and that would really free up a drawer for me. So this has five little slots and it also has these little hooks. It has one, then one on this side, one on this side, and then one on that side. So I thought that was pretty neat. Okay, and the last store I went to is Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is probably my favorite store ever. And if you haven't been in there lately, then you would not know they are already beginning to take out their fall decorations and even their Christmas. I did do a vlog, um, I think back around Memorial Day and they had already started taking it out then. So um, they had a ridiculous sale because of course they need shelf room for all of these pretty decorations. So a lot of their home decor stuff was like ridiculously discounted. And of course I got some pretties. So I'm in the process of decorating our guest bedroom. It's been one of the rooms that we've kind of sort of, you know, just let slip by because we don't ha really have that many guests. And the guests we do have are fine with slipping on this super comfy um, mattress that we have. It's an air mattress, but it's like the top notch air mattress. Anyway, um, the decor we have chosen to go in there. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am Native American, American Indian. And um, we wanted to bring that into our guest bedroom. So I picked up this super pretty, if I can turn it around, you can see it. This super pretty, it looks like it's palette wood. And it's just really, really pretty. It's like a teal with a nice little um, Aztec print there in the middle of the head. And this had been $40 and I got it for eight. I mean, you cannot beat that. I couldn't leave it. There was another one there that I sort of liked and I took a picture and sent both of them to Cody. And I was like, which one do you want? And he, get, he went with this one. So very good. You know, teal is like our favorite color ever in life. So this is gonna look great in the bedroom. Okay, another pickup at Hobby Lobby was this really cool vase. It's like white milk glass. Um, and it has a gold chevron print all the way around. And I don't know how much this had been, um, but I do know that it was $3 when I got it. Stuff like this is never cheap, you know, when they first put it out with the first retail price on it. So this was probably 20, 30 bucks when they first put it out. So I'm gonna put this in my office. It goes really well with all the white and the gold and the silver that I got going on here. So I really like this. Also from Hobby Lobby, I picked up this super cute, um, I think it's called an ampersand. I never know how to pronounce that. So I normally just say the and sign. <laughs> so um, I got this. This had been $26 and I got it for $2.60. Thought this was super cute. Probably it's either going to go in here or it's going to go in our living room or maybe even our master bedroom. I don't know yet. I pick up things that I just like and then I will find a home for it later on. So I really thought this was really cute and for $2.60, good beat it. And the last item I got is ridiculously huge and hopefully I'll be able to show you the entire thing for you to get an idea. Um, I watched my friend over at Love Meg. Hi Meg, if you're watching. Um, I watched her Hobby Lobby haul that she did. The next day I went to Hobby Lobby, like that's when I got all this stuff, like I'm ridiculously obsessed, but I already said that. So anyway, I seen um, some of the really cute finds that she found and I was dying to get my hands on a big letter and I found this one and I don't think this one's as big as the one she got, but I liked it. My mama was like, this doesn't go with anything in your house, but you can always spray paint things. So if you find something at a ridiculously insane discounted price um, and you can spray paint it to the, you know, the color of your liking, then get it. I mean, spray paint is like really cheap. So I'm probably gonna paint this either white um, and just distress it some like it already is because I have white paint and I also have some stain. So I think that would be really cool. Uh, I don't know how much this was before because they have so many stickers on the back of this, but I got it for $6. Normally these size letters are around 20 to 30, sometimes $40. So it just all depends. But um, I really, really like it. They had a lot of different letters and a lot of different sizes to choose from. So yeah, that was it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this collective haul. If you see anything that you like, definitely comment down below. Let's start a conversation about it. If you um, have watched 
my clean with me video and have looked at my home tour, then you know what the inside of my house looks like. So if you have any suggestions of where these items should go, definitely let me know. I'm always up for somebody else's opinion on something. I hope you guys enjoyed and like I said, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe and I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you.